to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog Sports page brought to you by JRR's Thursday Night Football. We'll be out pre-gaming again before the Titans and the Steelers. Um... Get it going there in Pittsburgh. Oviedo, we're coming to hang with you. Froggers in Oviedo starting at 6. We're going to have great concert tickets. And uh, do you know if we have them? I, I suspect we'll be able to come up with some Earth Day birthday tickets. Oh, maybe some Earth Day birthday tickets. Uh, ice cold bucket specials to come on out. Froggers in Oviedo starting at 6 Thursday night. All right, Bulldog, a lot of, uh, it was a very, very busy uh, Monday night in the sports world. Absolutely. The Bulldog was at the Purple Palace last night covering Orlando City City's playoff opening 1-0 win over Nashville. Of course, that was game one, their first uh, round series, best two or three. <laughs> Unfortunately, the next game is it until a week from today. God. And then the third, if it comes to a third game, it'll be a week after that. So, yeah, they're really stretching these playoffs out but it was a good crowd last night at orlando city nearly twenty thousand fans there uh one goal by a wilder cartagena he scores the goal uh goalkeeper pedro galese was great in that game last night orlando city gets the victory i wrote a column in today's orlando sentinel you can read that right now if you like cheap plug are you guys surprised that oscar perea the coach of Orlando City and Luis Muzi, the GM of the team, both of them are on the final days of their contract. They don't have new contracts yet. I talked to Mark, Mark Wolf, the owner of the team, last night, and he goes, well, we're negotiating. We think we're in a good place, but isn't that weird? Yeah. I mean, Oscar Perez has like, been to the playoffs four straight years. He's, you know, he's been the most successful coach in team history. Maybe it's because he's asking for a bunch of money, maybe? Maybe, but the Wolves own an NFL team. They own the Vikings. It's not like they're not used to paying exorbitant salaries. So, anyway, I thought it was weird. So, Orlando City wins that game. Magic, however, they go down to the hated Lakers last night, 106 to 103 very close game magic uh, had a seven point lead in the third quarter but their two young stars palo bancaro and the franz hey they could not get it done last night franz was only five of 17 from the the floor palo only scored nine points on four of 14 shooting so that was kind of the difference in the game so the magic go down to the lakers the lakers by the way will be in orlando this I think Saturday. I think it's Saturday. Boy, they, they, Orlando really. Uh, when well, they get the other Los Angeles team tonight, so. yeah, <laughs> whole, whole yeah, lot of LA in a short time span there. Right. Hopefully they can beat the Clippers tonight. Uh, World Series last night. Rangers. They are road warriors. Man, they are nine and zero on the road this postseason. They beat the Diamondbacks last night um, to take a two one lead. In the series, they won that game three to one last night, and uh, man, that's that's incredible that you could be nine and zero in the on the yeah. road in the postseason, yeah. especially if you're a wild card team like the Rangers or I mean, they barely eked into the playoffs. So your Detroit Meatheads last night, they win the game against the Vegas Raiders twenty six to fourteen. What about that uh, Jameer Gibbs? Or Jameer Gibbs ran for a season high, 152 yards and a touchdown. Man. And they have a rookie tight end as well who's really good, Sam Laporta. He had eight catches for 57 yards and a touchdown. So the Meatheads, what are they? Are they 6-2 and two now? I think they are. I They're believe so. Yeah, 6-2. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they should probably win that division easily. The Packers stink. Uh, the Vikings just lost Kirk Cousins for the year. So it looks like the the Lions are going to cruise to the division title there. That Gibbs um, guy is somebody to keep an eye on, man. Pat, he he did like the first what eight carries for him. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, Florida Georgia game, which was just contested up in Jacksonville. Uh, everybody that knows the Jaguars are going to be renovating their stadium in the next couple of years, where they're going to have to move that game out of Jacksonville. For at least a couple of years now, one of the games, Georgia's home game 
in that series they they say is probably going to be played in Atlanta, but it's going to come down probably to three other Florida cities as to who gets Florida's home game in that series while they're renovating uh, Jacksonville Stadium, Orlando, Tampa, and Miami. I hope Orlando can get the Florida-Georgia game. God, that would be spectacular, wouldn't it? Hell yeah. We can get the Florida-Georgia game down here. Wouldn't that be, be the awesome. most centrally located and convenient for all fans involved? Definitely. It, it would be, but it's certainly not the nicest stadium. Well, no. And then, and then Bulldog, who reports on it every year, could just sleep in a little longer this time. <laughs> Absolutely. That's, that's what the, Absolutely. That's what that's the, the crux to this. I would love this. that. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you guys haven't heard the clip of Dabo Swinney, Dabo oh, Swinney. Oh God! Heard, if you haven't heard the clip of him, this fan calls in as like you know being critical of Dabo because Clemson's having a down year. They're four and four, obviously. Dabo just lights into this guy, and one of the things he says, "I'm not going to sit here and let some smart ass kid." question how i do my job we've had 10 we've had 12 10 win seasons since i've been here if you want me to go coach somewhere else i'll go coach somewhere else yeah, he okay? told he told old steve from spartanburg that uh he should apply for the job <laughs> it was Ty, was it steve or, or know, somebody from spartanburg it, it, i think it was tyler tyler yeah. from spartanburg yeah, <laughs> I love that. Uh, Lightning losing overtime to the Kraken last night, four three. Mm-hmm. Dog, I know you were uh, glued it, glued into I that. Was on the edge of my seat for that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, James Harden to the Clippers. Did that happen? Looks like it's going to happen. I, I saw that it might happen. I don't think it has happened yet. Has it? Right, well, that's... Yeah. we shall yeah, see. At least he won't be with them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right? Anyway. Yeah, exactly. All right. So. Mike the Bulldog Bianchi, host of Open Mic Weekday Mornings on Adjacent to Us on AM 740 and FM 96.9 The Game. Host of that show. He writes in the Sentinel like he was telling you this morning. Check out his column and hear the grown man barking this Halloween to take us out of the sports page here on JRR. Happy Halloween. Hope you get lots of Reese's peanut butter cups in your treat bag.